good morning guys happy sabbath day saturday unfortunately unfortunately i'm heading to work praise god for the ability to work the health to be able to go and work to be able to go and serve others make others happy and beautiful and um, just to be able to make a, um, a honest living, amen? That we would be able to make an honest living. That's a blessing. So thank you, Lord. But this morning, I feel the Lord just um, spoke to me this morning, ministered to me this morning by this, this um, one revelation. And um, that this week has been a week of breakthrough and we have not seen the final, we have not gotten the final like say on this, but I feel like in the spirit, I know that it's done. I know that it's ours. I know that it's finished um, and we've uh, obtained this specific thing but we won't know in the natural till next week and so I've felt a shift as well as my husband has felt a shift in the flow of prayer and the flow of faith and our flow of prayer and our flow of faith and one of the things that the Lord told me was that um, because bitterness is being um, uprooted from a deeper, a deeper place, um, and and that's what He told me specifically why the faith flow and the prayer flow is able to flow out so much smoother and easier this week is because bitterness and discouragement, God is uprooting it on a deeper level because of the breakthrough that we know we already have. We believe it by faith that we already have this breakthrough and it's um, just taking that heaviness off of us. Now, me and my husband, we can't share parts of our testimony yet, but I know it's the day is coming closer to where we can share everything freely. Um, but we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. This last 10 years we'll be together 10 years the end of this month on halloween yeah halloween is when we became a power couple for the lord praise god to battle against darkness and be a light um to the world in this dark world but um we've been through a lot a lot we've dealt with a lot of woundedness and um, and I've noticed throughout the years that it's hard for me to pray at times because of the weight of bitterness and because, you know, the scripture comes to my mind often about hope deferred and how it makes the heart grow sick. And it really does. It, it makes the heart grow sick and that bitterness makes the heart grow sick. And sometimes you get so, it's so, sometimes it would be so hard for me to declare a thing because I was bitter about our situation. I'm so bitter about why, why me? Why do I have to carry this? Why do I have to be so long suffering in carrying this and I 
would get so upset and it would make me, it would make it hard for me to pray. And so I just want to share that with you guys that if you are going, if you've been through it, if you've been through it, just know that God is going to get you through it. Know that it's not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. And so be intentional, intentional about fighting and pushing off that bitterness. Don't allow your hope to, you know, don't let the fire of, of hope dwindle and go out. Because in due time, God will deliver you if you continue faithfully to believe and to press forward and to do what's right. Because I'm telling you, there's, there will be so many uh, opportunities for you to cut corners. There will be so many temptations for you to cut corners or even to just bail out. There will be opportunities for you to bail out and walk away. But I promise you, if you will just trust the Lord, follow the Lord, no matter what the cost, there will be a reward. There will be a deliverance. And it will be worth all the pain, all the suffering that you endure as you fight the good fight of faith. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit that was on my heart. I just pray that if you are carrying bitterness of heart bitterness of soul I pray that that bitterness would be broken off you in Jesus name I pray that hope would stir up in your heart and that it would no longer be delayed that whatever you're expecting from God would come forth in this season. I believe that this is a season of breakthrough. I felt a shift in this month. And like I said, um, I still can't share with you guys uh, this breakthrough that God has given us because we won't even know um, for sure in the natural. So as soon as we do, and I believe we will, I can't wait to share with you guys and rejoice with you guys. Um, God is good. He's faithful to his promises. You know, I was thinking the other day um, how Joseph, right? Joseph's story is amazing. He went from the pit to the palace. But if you think about how long Joseph had to suffer betrayal I imagine the amount of bitterness he had to fight with I imagine the amount of bitterness he had to toil with after all the betrayal he went through for staying faithful to God he stayed faithful to God and it didn't seem like it was paying off at all for a very long time. But when it did, when it did, like he literally came out of a prison and was put in the palace. And made, what, second in command? So... The promises of God are lavish and extravagant to those who will believe and to those who are willing to pay the cost. And the cost is painful, but that pain produces purity of heart. That pain produces faithfulness to God. That pain is meant to try you and test you so that when you obtain the promise, when you obtain that lofty position, 
that it won't go to your head, that you will be sensitive to the voice of God and you won't squander it, and that you'll take that position um, with honor, carry it with honor. So be encouraged, guys. It's a season of breakthrough. And whatever you're going through is only momentarily. It's, it's, it's not going to last forever. Press in. In Jesus' name, be blessed today.